Hi, this is Ken Lau. I have a student asking these questions, right? So basically I have an open date and a closed date, right? So between these two dates, right? If I use the closed date minus the open date, right? I got an error. Why is it so? Well, that's because the date format, although these two cell is a date type, but it just doesn't work, right? So we need to find a way to really work on it, right? So my solution is really use the text column, right? And then after that, we use a date function to join it back. And same goes with this. But the second, right, will be more uh, tougher because, right, in the close column, they have all the months in the middle. But all of a sudden, right, there is one in the front part, right? And then another one, right? How do we uh, really work on it, right? Assuming that the middle one is the month, right? How can we adjust that, right? So I will walk you through that then, right? So I'm just deleting this. First, I will highlight this. Um, and I go to the data tab. And I choose text to column. And I choose the limited. Click next. Use others, uh, and I type in the slash, and I want to put that into this column right here, right now. Watch that. Click finish. This is what it means, right? It break that into three parts, but this alone is all numbers. How can we convert that into date? We use the date functions. Select the year, the month, the day, and that's it, right? And now we have a date list, right? So we want to kind of standardize it, right, according to our, our computer system here, right? So now the other one here would be this, right? And we want to do the same, right? Copy this, go to the text column. Delimited, next, next, change that to a new destination, right? I'll just go for here. I'll click finish. And again, now, what is this different is that right in the middle, there are some value which is above 12, right? And I want that to switch if that happens, right? Although that is not the, uh, at the moment, I, I immediately can think of this, right? So I want to adjust that, right? If the value here is greater than 12, then I know that it mustn't be a month then, or it probably wouldn't be a month. Then I will use the other value here to exchange that. Otherwise, I'll we'll take the original one, right? Original one. So let's just drag this. Now watch that, right? Since it's 14, right? It couldn't be a month part. So I'll just then um, had it changed. So right in the middle is the month, right? So open day couldn't be, uh, uh, the close that couldn't be earlier than the open day. So I assume that this is the month, right? So now I have one and I use the if function again and I'm looking at this again, right? If um, if the month is uh, greater than uh, so, so the 12, right? then it probably will be that I need to shift that. I will shift this, right? Otherwise, uh, no, I wanted the use this date here, right? Let's see if that works. No, I think it's not that right. So it should be using this one. Otherwise, it would be this one right here. Okay. Let's see if N2 is greater than 12, right? I should have take a look at my suggestion here, right? If N is greater than 12, then it's going to be greater than that. 
All right, so so it should be this stand M12 and two, right? So I got a two E and move over here, right? Kind of switching it automatically. Now watch that, right? So it become thirty one, right? Fifth. Now that is the adjusted month and this is the adjusted day and the year will remain the same so now I'm using these two date functions to reconstruct a date a month a day and double click that so I have this restructure it so that it become from the 14th of June so now I can use this close date minus the open date and that give me three dates and this is 14 days from that day onward right so the difference between this the the difference right okay so it takes three days to close this uh, this job and this day three days this takes 14 days because it's open in the in the month of uh, at the last day of the May and uh, it completed in on the 14th of June right so it's 14 right that is how uh, I can think of it so hope that is helpful thanks for watching right and this is the whole full solutions right you can always use color so that's the date right here and that's the date just the date functions right and this is a date and there are take this value minus this you get the date the trick is that how do we readjust this right if it's a whole list of value right you can't do it line by line right so you're going to change of it so hope this is useful thank you